Okay, so hole one, don't move the directional pad, and I would say go one bar and let's say about 60%, I'd say, off the uh, second bar. Perfect. As we look at the uh, hole, I'd say just one bar. There we go, easy par, sorry, uh, easy birdie for hole number one. Just a reminder that I am playing this on uh, explore mode so I can keep going for the better um, the better uh, shots for everybody to use. Okay, so for hole two, we've got 75% on the bar and we're going a slight angle. Let's see if this will work. all the way around hole in one wonderful okay hole number three we are going to be aiming just to the right of the leftmost hieroglyphic behind us let's aim about there I think let's try about there shall we Well, this looks promising. Hole in one. Although, obviously, you haven't seen on the video. There's your hole in one. Okay, this is hole number four. We are not going to move the control. We're just going to keep it as it is. But we're going to go, I'd say, nearly three bars. I'd say this is about two bars and maybe 80 to 85% of the third bar. Here we go. Perfect, it's another hole in one. Okay, so hole number five. We are going to go full power and we are going to aim at, let's see, what do I feel confident aiming at? Um, hmm. Let's see, let's aim for... So let's go, I would say, if we cross just there, let's try there where we're... If you can actually see where the reticle is going, we're putting it on the basically through that little cross there. Let's try that. That's okay. Okay, so two and I'll say two bars, you can see the power bar there, so I think two bars and what's that, eighty percent? 75% I'd say so that would have been a birdie okay this is uh, hole 6 let's see what we can do with it shall we okay so let's see uh, I think just under full power I think so I'm thinking maybe about that maybe a bit more so let's do uh, I'd say that looks about right <coughs> and we want to aim it so that we are going through the middle of I think that might be good. Let's try that. So, if you notice, um, I don't. Have, but if you look at where the pointer is, it's kind of going through like a cross of four squares. So let's try that, shall we? Uh, 
Well, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. Birdie. Possible holding one if we ever get lucky. But birdie there. I'll take that. So birdie on hole six. Okay, this is hole number seven. So we're going to try something a little different here. Um, if you look, we've kind of got like a square hieroglyphic um, on the, like, the far left. So we're going to aim at that, but we're going to aim... Uh, let's go a little bit left, I think. That should be reasonable, I think. Shall we... Yeah, let's try that. Hole in one. There you go. You gain two shots there. Okay, this one is going to be hole number uh, eight. Now, let's see what we can do. I mean, I think we should smack it. But let's bring it over to the left slightly. So, two little nudges to the left. Let's see how this goes. You know what? I'll take that. Birdie. I will actually take that. There we go. I'm sure if you get lucky you get a hole in one there, but I'm happy to take that as it is. Okay, so should we just go full power straight on for hole number nine, I think this is? So let's see. I need to make it over there. I think uh, if we do a two, I think maybe let's let's try a two bar there. I'm happy to take a par on this for that. I'm happy to take a par for this. There we go. So we don't want the best score, we just need a score that does the job enough. Okay, so for hole 10, we're just going to go up this ramp up here, I think. Little side uh, bump of two. And then what we can do here, we can zip across pretty fast, I'd say. Let's try three bars. Perfect. And we are safe for an easy par. There you go. Okay, this is hole 11. It's an absolute pain in the ass. So what we're going to do, we're going to aim in this direction. We're going to try and hit uh, two and a bit there. So about two and two two and sixty percent bars, I'd say. There we go, we bounce up and we have what would be a birdie. Again, that's very, very difficult to do, but if you, if you mess it up, you're probably gonna be looking at a four or five stroke finish, sadly. But that would be a two stroke birdie there. Okay, so hole 12, there's a gap that we need to watch out there. So we're going to aim I think we'll do, I think, let's see, we'll do about three and a half, I think. And we'll aim about, let's aim about there. That should be enough, I would think. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're around, that's good, that's okay. So I'm gonna do a little more than one. So ideally we want to end up against that wall. So let's go about there. That's not a good shot. Never mind, we can work with this. Two and a half. Tip it across. Perfect. And that's your par. That is an awkward that that hole is one that will either help the run or destroy the run, to be honest. 
Okay, this is hole number 13. Now we're going to want to hit it full power. And I like doing it across just very, very slightly to the left of the diagonal lines. And I've, you can see the wall there. We want to shoot when it goes up, like now. There you go. Rover, that's good. And we just need to uh, go over. So I would say in line with this. So it's not going to hit that sand there. So I would recommend, uh, let's say... I would say I think three bars, three bars completely straight. Let's hope this is right. I will take that. And then I would say if we're landing about here, I'd say two thirds of a bar. There you go. No more than that. Right, this is the second worst hole in this entire course. I would say just below three full bars. Only a smidge though. I want to keep it straight and obviously want to do it when the Pharaoh's mouth is coming down. There you go. It's a little faster, but it does the job. The problem is, we have to get it all the way through this little hole here. See, we can't even go forward, so we can't even move the camera over so you can see where we have to go. So, I would say let's go. Bugger it, let's go three bars again, shall we? We got away with it. So that's two. And, well, it's working well for us so far. Three bars again. So you may get a bogey on this one. But uh, we have the shots to spare. So to get up the ramp, I'd say one and three quarters. Oh, too much. Okay, so less than that. Probably about one and a half, one and a quarter. But granted, we're losing a shot. But that's fine with the ones that we have saved. Okay, hole 15. I recommend we do three and a half bars. That is absolutely perfect. Okay, so you're after three and a half bars. Let's do two and eight tenths. That will do. And this would be a birdie. There you go. Okay, so this is hole 16. We're going full power up this ramp on the right here, or the right ramp on the left. Might get lucky. Look at that, perfect. Now the flag is round here. So uh, we can just, uh, I'd say, let's do a simple two, two and a bit, I'd say. Yeah, no more than that because that will screw you over. But either way, this would be a birdie. Okay, so hole 17, nearly full power. We don't want to hit this wall on the right, so that's why I've declined some of the, uh, lowered the power down from max a bit. And we get away with it. So that should be a relatively easy par. Uh, not par, sorry, birdie. Ignore what comes up on the stream. As I said, I'm playing explorer mode. I'm just showing you how to do the shots. And it's the final hole. We turn to the right, so because you'll be facing that, you'll be facing like that at the start. You want to turn to the right, and we're going to go full power, right straight, like this. Boink.
that's fine. Now we're going to go three quarter power going up this ramp. And it's a little hoppy, you can get a birdie, but uh, it's probably going to be a par. But anyway. So let's try, let's just try and pot it for a birdie, just for the sake of it. Oh, I was way too hard. Never mind, guaranteed par. There you go, and that's uh, all 18 holes. Which should be enough, I hope, to get you what you need for the under par achievement. Good luck, everybody.